which kind of art sells. This week I had a chance to travel to Mikkeli and visit the housing fair. I don't know if housing fair is a common thing in other countries, but at least here in Finland it is. That people build houses and then you can, before they start living on that area, you can go and see their beautiful houses just freshly done and decorated usually on beautiful sites. And they, every year they are in a different city somewhere in Finland. This year the fair was in Mikkeli, which is a very beautiful area in Finland. That's where it is. So I visited the fair not only because, of course, I am also interested in architecture and interior design, but most of all I wanted to study what kind of art have people put on their walls. I found three themes that were quite common. The first one is abstract art. That was for sure the most popular one. The second theme is letters, words, sentences, inspirational. The third theme is traveling and it includes maps and boats and cityscapes and all that kind of stuff. So after spending that one day in the Mikkeli housing fair, I decided that I'm gonna do my interpretation of combination of all those three themes I found and this is the result. I was very happy to notice that most of the art that people had on their walls were original art but what I'm doing here is just a print that you can then purchase from my red bubble shop. Don't take this too seriously, it's just, uh, I just had fun with this idea and I went for it and I'm not like saying that this, this particular piece I'm doing here is the most syllable art in the world. so much for tuning in to Elimamba Art today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to enter the giveaway, it's still going on and thank you for all the lovely comments you've given me. Every time somebody comments something nice it just makes my day and thank you. Inspire and be inspired. See you on the next video. Bye!